Hey, curious minds. Strap in as we whisk you away on a whirlwind tour of the five most mind-boggling laws from around the world. These strange but true regulations are sure to leave you scratching your head and wondering, what were they thinking? Get ready for a short, sweet, and oh-so-strange journey through the pages of the world's wackiest legal codes. Let's dive in. First, forced to smile. In Milan, the fashion capital of Italy, there's a peculiar law that demands citizens to always have a smile on their faces. Imagine living in a city where frowns are forbidden. This rule, although it may sound like something out of a quirky movie, actually has a historical backdrop. Back in the late 1800s, Milan was going through a rough patch with high unemployment rates and social unrest. To boost morale and create a more positive atmosphere, the local authorities came up with the idea of this happiness mandate. Now, while the intention behind the law might have been well-meaning, enforcing it in real life is a whole different story. Can you imagine the smile police patrolling the streets, checking everyone's facial expressions? It's a bit comical to think about. And what about those days when you're feeling down or just not in the mood to grin from ear to ear? Would you risk a fine for having a case of the resting frown face? Interestingly, this law is a reminder of how laws can sometimes reflect societal values and aspirations. In Milan, the emphasis on smiling might be seen as a way to promote positivity, kindness, and approachability among its citizens. It's like a citywide campaign for spreading good vibes. But let's be real. Forcing a smile doesn't necessarily mean genuine happiness. Sometimes, a smile can be a mask for deeper emotions or struggles. It's a good reminder that laws, no matter how well-intended, can't regulate our innermost feelings. So, next time you find yourself in Milan, don't forget to flash those pearly whites. It's the law, after all. But remember, true happiness comes from within, not from a mandatory smile plastered on your face. Second, forbidden to die. It's one of those bizarre bits of trivia that tends to pop up in conversations about weird laws from around the globe. The idea that in the UK it's actually against the law to die within the Houses of Parliament. Let's unpack this quirky notion because while it might sound totally out there, there's a smidge of truth to it. The law reportedly stemmed from the notion that the Houses of Parliament, also known as the Palace of Westminster, are designated as a royal palace. And because of that, anyone who died there would technically be entitled to a state funeral. Can you imagine the logistical nightmare? Now, given that state funerals are incredibly grand and costly affairs, it would be rather inconvenient if every Tom, Dick, or Harry who had the misfortune of their ticker stopping within these hallowed halls got the full royal send-off. To avoid this, the law was supposedly set in place. Mind you, this begs the question of just how one might enforce such a law. After all, it's not like you can hand a fine or a jail sentence to someone who's already checked out. Moreover, consider the conundrum for medical teams. Picture the scene. Someone collapses in the corridors of power. Medics rush in, defibrillators at the ready, only to confront the awkward question. Do we really want to save someone who's clearly flouting the rules? Of course, they do their duty, but the absurdity isn't lost on anyone. Now, don't rush off to fact-check this in the current legal books. Modern law doesn't actually spell this out. The idea that it's illegal to die in Parliament is more of a historical curiosity than an actionable offense today. Still, it remains one of those anecdotes that highlight how tradition and law often intertwine in the UK, often blurring the lines between ceremonial gestures and actual legal requirements. So, if you're ever touring the homes of British democracy, maybe just to be safe, steer clear of any dramatic gestures that look like you're about to shuffle off this mortal coil. It's not just about respecting the law, it's about offering a little nod to the fascinating quirks of a parliamentary past. Third, fake mustache. In Alabama, there's a law that might just make you do a double take. A ban on fake mustaches. Yes, you heard that right. So, if you're thinking of rocking a quirky faux stash for fun, you might want to think twice before strutting your stuff in Alabama. Now, why on earth would such a law exist, you may ask? Well, back in the day, fake mustaches were apparently causing quite a stir in the community. People were using them for all sorts of shenanigans, from disguises to pranks. It got to a point where the authorities had to step in and say, 
Enough is enough. Imagine the sight of mustache-wearing individuals being stopped in their tracks by the mustache police. It's almost like a scene from a wacky comedy movie. While the intent behind the law may have been to maintain order and prevent mischief, it sure does add a quirky twist to Alabama's legal landscape. Whether you're a fan of facial hair or not, this law serves as a reminder that even the most trivial things can find their way into the legal books. So, next time you're in Alabama and feel like sporting a fake mustache for kicks, remember to tread carefully, unless you're ready to face the consequences of breaking the no-fake statch rule. Fourth, no gums. In Singapore, there's a rule that'll make you think twice before popping that bubble, the ban on chewing gum sales and imports. Yup, you heard it right. So, if you're a gum enthusiast planning a trip to Singapore, you might want to leave your favorite flavors at home. But why such a strict stance on something as innocent as gum, you wonder? Well, back in the day, gum was causing quite a sticky situation in Singapore. People were littering the streets with discarded gum, messing up public spaces, and even vandalizing public property with their chewed up creations. To tackle the gum trouble, the government decided to put a stop to its sale and importation. While it may seem like a harsh move to gum lovers worldwide, it's all part of Singapore's efforts to keep the city clean and orderly. So, next time you're in the Lion City and feel the urge to chew, remember the no-gum rule and opt for some minty fresh breath spray instead. It may not be as satisfying as a good old stick of gum, but hey, it's a small price to pay for keeping Singapore squeaky clean, right? Fifth, be careful if you're Scottish. So here's a quirky piece of legislation that might make you do a double take. Over in York, mind you, there's this archaic rule that seems too strange to be true. Supposedly, it's perfectly legal for someone to take aim and shoot a Scotsman with a bow and arrow if it's within the city walls and the sun has set. Now, before anyone starts gearing up for some medieval-style mischief, let's get this straight. This law is an old vestige of times long gone and, frankly, you'll be in a heap of trouble if you tried to act on it today. It's one of those laws that's still on the books, but it's not enforced. The law dates back to the olden days when the English and Scots weren't exactly best buds. York, being close to the border, was often caught up in the ruckus of those times. But what does it say about the past? Well, it kind of highlights just how deep the rivalry ran between England and Scotland. The fact that such a rule was deemed necessary is a testament to the turbulent history the two nations share. However, it's equally fascinating that no one has bothered to repeal it. Think about it, the city's lawmakers just left it there, like a weird historical Easter egg for us to find. And in today's context, it becomes a sort of darkly amusing anecdote. It serves as dinner party fodder or, hey, even content for a YouTube video. What's more, it reflects a slice of medieval life that feels entirely alien to us. The idea of walking around a city's battlements, bow in hand, eyeing up Scotsmen would be absurd and alarming now, and rightly so, but back then, it was all part of the norm. So next time you're wandering around York after dark, maybe leave the bow at home, yeah? The last thing we need is a history-inspired mishap making headlines for all the wrong reasons. But it's one quirky tale that shows how sometimes, laws don't quite keep up with the passage of time. And there it is, curious adventurers. We took a fascinating journey through the world's strangest laws. If you enjoyed diving into the depths of legal oddities, leave a like, share, and subscribe for more content that goes beyond the conventional.